God is a faithful king. Hero is the Lord is our God. Born in Brooklyn, New York, 72 years ago, from very humble beginnings, always went to synagogue, was bar mitzvahed, celebrated Passover, Yom Kippur, Rosh Hashanah with my family. I was fortunate to throw a baseball in the high 90s. And my life dream was to play Major League Baseball. And in 1962, the Yankees took me up to, to Yankee Stadium, the old Yankee Stadium. And I threw batting practice to the uh, World Series champions, the Yankees in 1961. And the Yankees were impressed with me and they said, when you graduate high school, we wanna, we wanna draft you uh, to play for the Yankees. That was my dream. But my father and my family had never gone to college my dad wouldn't co-sign a contract because I was a minor. And he said, son, I want you to get a college education and then after college, you can go into baseball. Well, I was heartbroken because I wanted to play baseball then and there. But I, I loved my New York Jewish family. I loved my neighborhood. I didn't want to go out of town to a college school. And so I wanted to stay in New York and I took a full baseball scholarship to St. John's University in New York. You know, God has a sense of humor that the Jewish boy went to a Catholic university. In 1966, towards the end of the season, I blew out my arm. And my team went on to the College World Series, but my arm was lame, I couldn't pitch anymore. My fastball had gone down to mediocre speed. And so like I say, God has different, uh, different roads for us than the roads we want to go down. And he just didn't have baseball as the final road for me. So I went into the business world and I rose very, very quickly to the very, very top of the business world, the very top. And God opened every door for me, that every position I went into as I climbed up to the business world got better and better and better. And at, and at 31 years old, I started my own electronics company and I was fortunate, I was fortunate to get the Atari video game line. And over eight years, I did $2 billion in sales. I was running a $6 billion public company. Every door I went through, God just opened up for me and, and it was like magic. It was like going to Las Vegas and throwing sevens, uh, one after another. Having everything, millions of dollars in the bank, a penthouse in New York, a penthouse in Miami, a 15-acre weekend estate in uh, Connecticut, a wonderful wife, a great child, just everything going for me. And then all of a sudden, out of the blue, I started getting panic attacks. I don't know why. I have everything, right? I have the Satan's lie that money, power, and fame will make you happy. Well, that's a lie if you don't have God in your life, if you only have material things in your life. And so I went to a New York psychiatrist to find out the answers why. Why couldn't I sleep? Why wasn't I happy? And he had no answers for me. So what does he do like many doctors do? He wanted to numb the problem. So he gives me sleeping pills and Valium. So I was dropping out. A stockbroker from Wall Street came and put cocaine down in one of my, uh, one of my uh, penthouse apartments, having a party. And I took the co cocaine like a, like a duck takes to water. And I started to party. Uh, started to run around with women. I was an adulterer, stopped working, uh, let people run my businesses, made bad investments. And to make a long, long story short, from age 47 to 57, I lost everything. At the end of 10 years, believe it or not, from many, many millions in the bank, I was two weeks away from being homeless. All my money was gone. Nobody would hire me because I had a reputation of being into cocaine 
and not working and partying. And supposedly this boy genius in business that was written up in many business magazines, no one wanted to touch me. Besides myself, one night, three in the morning, on my hands and knees crying, I cry out to God. I said, Father, why hath you forsaken me? And in blaming God for my downfall, like we all blame God for things. And I wasn't taking responsibility that I had done that to myself. But in my heart, although I was yelling at God and screaming and crying, in my heart I knew it was my fault. And then God answered me. God spoke to me, not audibly, but in my mind like a lightning bolt. He said, my son, my son, I have lost too many of my children to Satan, to hell, and you are on the path to hell. And so I'm revealing myself to you that I am God the Father, and my son is Yeshua HaMashiach, Jewish Jesus. And at that point in time, I ex truly accepted Jesus HaMashiach as my Lord and Savior. I felt a peace over my life. And I went to bed that night for the first time in 10 years and I slept like a baby, even knowing that I couldn't pay the rent in two more weeks and I would be homeless. Well, God is so merciful and full of grace and love and generosity. And after I gave my life to Him, expecting nothing more than just trying to survive, two days before I was gonna be homeless, a man called me out of the blue from another industry that didn't know me from the electronics and office equipment business. He was from the steel business. And he offered me a $500,000 salary and a multi-million dollar contract. From almost being homeless, God snapped his fingers and I was on my way up again. And so I, I beg you to hear my pleading, hear my story and understand that without Christ in your life, you will never be able to be at peace. I thank you for hearing my story. May God bless you. Amen. I don't know I have a raw, but look how tall you know I